Hey there, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther and today I'm going to show you two main ways how to make your logo in 3D using Adobe Illustrator. But before we do that, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bells for daily updates basically. Alright, so I'm going to use my logo, <coughs> this one, I'm going to decrease the... Actually, I'm going to change to some gray-ish. And uh, of course, I'm going to do it with the blend tool. I'm going to press Ctrl C and Ctrl F. And now it creates uh, some uh, layers on top. Actually, I only need two of these. So um, I'm going to put this. Actually, I'm going to scale this down first. Something like this. And I'm going to put this to the background. So you can <clears throat> see here it's on the top. And I'm just going to go and put it to the bottom you know this layer okay uh, I gonna make this black like that and I'm thinking still to change the color of this to something interesting something different let me what it will be with pink I don't know it's too strong I'm gonna make it with blue eventually and see what happens. So I'm gonna go to objects and go to the blend and click make. <clears throat> and double click here on the blend tool, click previews, select specified steps and I'm gonna type in a thousand and click OK. And we got the 3D basically. I'm gonna create some uh, new copies actually so uh, let me try out to change the the bottom logo I'm gonna double click and I'm gonna change the color <coughs> to a yellow to a yellow look how interesting that looks okay not bad but uh, I need something more stronger. Mm. Actually, wait a sec. I didn't select that. I'm gonna select the pink. So yeah, basically and mainly this is how this works. Um, I gonna still need to adjust this. I think this one is better. And of course I can move the background logo. So the three dimension is going to change itself even more. I think I like this. Okay. I gonna do some more adjustments on this actually because I just got into it right now. I'm gonna change this one actually. You know what? I'm gonna change separately these. I'm thinking if I can do that. But I don't I don't think so. Actually I do. Look at that. Oh yeah. So I selected the direct selection tool from here and that way I could change it. Well, let me try it out with different uh, nuances because it's really interesting what it's gonna come out. So yeah, this, is, this would be the first first method how to do it so I'm gonna create a new artboard and I'm gonna go and create another one this time oh snap I didn't uh... I'm gonna remove the effects if I can let me let me delete this so let, uh, let's see what happens if I delete this one there you go now I'm gonna go to the effects and go to 3D extrude and bevel. All right, so we just uh, activated this 3D option, and now it's uh, basically making a 3D in life out of this. This one is more serious, I think. I mean, yeah, obviously. Uh, you can increase the depth. And of course, you can put it in perspective. I'm gonna put it 100% because I really like how it looks in 100% perspective. 
There you go. Look at that baby. And I gotta click OK. And this is... So yeah, you can uh, basically expand this one, of course. I gotta go to Object, Expand Appearance. And now you don't see these weird white lines or any kind of weird effect. <coughs> so this, uh, this one you can edit even more manually. Uh, you can ungroup it and... Wait. Ungroup it again and again. And uh, yeah, you can separate these and you can uh, basically recolor, recustomize, or add gradients to every kind of uh, shape on um, this three dimensional stuff. So, yeah, it's pretty wild. I can actually make this lighter. Wait a sec, starting to become annoying. I got so many shapes going on in here and now I gonna oh there you go so yeah this is how you make the you know 3d effects in Adobe Illustrator basically uh, I think this one is more fine I like this more than this one <clears throat> you need to do a lot of stuff on this and you know if if you have a lot too much adjustments going on like it's wasting a lot of time you better learn some 3d software and do their you know more quicker and you can add a lot of stuff there so it can look more realistic and fancy rather than you know adobe illustrator but here these are the options so you can try them out and yeah thanks for watching don't forget to check out the other videos also and have a great day bye bye